Hi everyone, welcome to a new video, today's subject, Zwilling J.A. Henkels vs. Victorinox. Once you start delving into the world of knives you'll quickly realize that different kitchen knife brands have different focuses. This is clear even in brands from similar parts of the world. Two very good European brands with lots of history are Zwilling J.A. Henkels and Victorinox. They both produce quality knives, but they do have their differences. In this article, I'm going to tell you the differences between these two great brands. I'll go in-depth into the details of each, talking about where they are made, what materials are used and the difference in price. This article should provide all the information you need to select the right knife for your needs. If you ignore the price and focus on quality, Zwilling J.A. Henkel's knives are unarguably better. They are built for extreme durability and use a classic design. However, that is reflected in the price and you can still get a quality knife from Victorinox for a third the price of a standard Zwilling J.A. Henkels. So if you're on a budget then Victorinox offers some of the best value knives around. My Zwilling J.A. Henkels Recommendation You can't really go wrong with the Zwilling J.A. Henkels Professional S. The steel is ultra-durable, ideal for busy kitchens, and it's very unlikely to rust or chip. It uses POM thermoplastic for the handle, so there's next to no chance of it distorting under the general moisture and temperature fluctuations you get in the kitchen. It's a great knife and one of the best examples of a quality Western chef's knife you'll find. Zwilling is considered by many to be one of the best kitchen knife brands in the world. One of the first things you'll notice when picking up a Zwilling knife is its weight and heft, both signs of a well-crafted blade. These knives are known for their balance and precision, which can largely be attributed to the brand's use of a full tang design that evenly distributes weight along the length of the blade. You can easily balance these knives on an open palm or even two extended fingers. My Victorinox Recommendation The Fibrox Pro, with its thermoplastic handle, might be the most popular Victorinox knife, but it's not my personal recommendation. For a similar price, you can get the Victorinox Rosewood Chef's Knife. It uses the exact same steel but has a beautiful rosewood handle instead of the thermoplastic. Rosewood is hard, so it's still plenty durable, and I think the style it gives the knife is really hard to match at this price range. It certainly looks like a knife that would be more expensive than it actually is. The handle shape is a classic design, along with the curved blade edge it's ideal for rock chopping and is a lightweight knife overall. For a knife around the $50 mark, you'll find it hard to find another knife as stylish and as high in quality as this one. Zwilling J.A. Henkels vs. Victorinox, what is the difference? The main difference between Zwilling J.A. Henkels and Victorinox knives is the price. Victorinox knives generally cost much less than Zwilling J.A. Henkels. However, Zwilling J.A. Henkel's standard and premium range of knives are better quality and justify the price difference. I like both these brands, but there is a clear difference in the average price and that's because they are just not equal in terms of quality. Zwilling J.A. Henkel's is a name that's synonymous with quality and durability. Their knives use classic designs and are built to last. Victorinox have focused on the more budget-friendly end of the price scale, and to be fair, they do it very well. Being the creators of the Swiss Army Knife, Victorinox is a company that knows a thing or two about making knives that do the job but don't break the bank. So it's no surprise their Fibrox Pro knives offer good practicality and comfort, for a very low price. Zwilling J.A. Henkels vs. Victorinox, which is better for you? The determining factor for which of these brands you choose really comes down to budget. If you have over $100 to spend, I definitely recommend a knife from the Zwilling Professional S range over the Victorinox Professional range. I think Zwilling J.A. Henkels offers some of the best Western-style chef's knives within the $100 to $200 price range. However, if you have under $100 to spend then Victorinox is certainly worth consideration. The most similar Zwilling J.A. Henkels knife at this price is their twin signature collection, but you'll usually find they still come in more expensive than Victorinox and they use the exact same stamped X50 CRMOV15 steel. If you are on a tight budget, Victorinox is a strong contender for the best brand around $50. And you don't even have to compromise on style, check out my Victorinox recommendation below, it's got a beautiful rosewood handle and is still only at the $50 to $60 mark. 
Zwilling J.A. Henkels vs. Victorinox, where are they made? Zwilling J.A. Henkels knives are produced in the German city of Zollingen, where they have been produced since their launch in 1731. Zwilling J.A. Henkels are not to be confused with knives labeled just J.A. Henkels. Zwilling knives are distinctly marked with the logo of the two stick-like people. J.A. Henkels knives, without the Zwilling mark, are not made in Germany. Zwilling is a huge group, which owns various knife brands. Generally, Zwilling knives are a mark of quality. The most well-known brand within the Zwilling group is J.A. Henkels, but Zwilling also owns other more surprising brands like Kramer and Miyabi which are both made in Japan. Victorinox produces all their knives in Ibach, Switzerland. Victorinox is a very interesting company as they are the original creators of the Swiss Army knife, in fact, they produce around 45,000 Swiss Army knives every single day. The company was founded in 1884 and since then has expanded into other products such as chef's knives and watches. I think the practicality that you'd expect from a Swiss Army knife is reflected in many of the features of Victorinox's kitchen knives, which certainly focus more on durability than sharpness, but we'll come to that next. Both of these brands have an incredible heritage and have long been making durable blades, you can be assured that both these brands offer plenty of knife-making experience. Zwilling J.A. Henkels vs. Victorinox, what steel do they use? The first thing to know is that Zwilling J.A. Henkels and Victorinox actually both use the same steel for their knives, at least in their main range. However, the way the blade is formed does still make a significant difference between the two. Both these knives use the same steel, X50 CRMOV15. However, there is a difference in their Rockwell hardness, with the Zwilling J.A. Henkels knife being the harder of the two. The main reason for that is that Zwilling J.A. Henkels blades are forged, at least in their main, Professional S range, and Victorinox blades are stamped. Both the Zwilling Professional S and Victorinox ranges use X50 CRMOV15. It's a German steel that is popular amongst producers of quality Western-style knives. Zwilling J.A. Henkels uses forged steel for most of its knives whilst Victorinox knives are usually stamped. X50 CRMOV15's large benefit is its durability, and that's why it's so popular with many European knife brands. The main elements of interest within X50 CRMOV15's composition are carbon, vanadium, and chromium. The carbon content is around 0.55%. That's not particularly high when comparing it with other quality knives, however, it's high enough to provide sufficient strength in the blade for a 15 to 20 degree angle on each side, which is standard for Western knives. The big benefit of not having a very high carbon content is that higher carbon steels are usually more brittle, therefore the 0.55% content keeps the blade durable. That's the same with the strong vanadium of 0.4%, vanadium improves the resistance to wear of the steel also adding to its durability. The chromium content is 15% is what the 15 in X50 CRMOV15 represents. Chromium is vital for the durability of steel as it's what makes stainless steel resistant to rust. Steel need only be 10.5% to be considered stainless, so a 15% content is high and makes this a quality stainless steel, very unlikely to rust unless extremely mistreated by the owner. There is a difference in the Rockwell hardness, HRC, between the Zwilling J.A. Henkels and Victorinox knives. Zwilling J.A. Henkels knives tend to be forged, that's when steel is heated to a point it can be molded. Victorinox knives tend to be stamped. This is when the blade is stamped out of a flat sheet of steel, like a cookie cutter. Typically forged blades are regarded as better and harder, resulting in the difference on the Rockwell scale we see here. However, stamped blades are significantly less expensive, and Victorinox knives still receive the benefits of durability that X50 CRMOV15 provides. Most people would agree that the forged steel of the Zwilling J.A. Henkels is better, although as a result there is a significant price difference between the two. Zwilling J.A. Henkels vs. Victorinox, how sharp are they? Once again, I'm going to focus on the most popular knives from each brand for this comparison. You will experience a similar sharpness initially between both Zwilling J.A. Henkels and Victorinox. However, Zwilling J.A. Henkels knives will hold the edge for longer due to the steel being harder. Both Zwilling J.A. Henkels and Victorinox use the same type of steel for their main range. However, because forged Zwilling J.A. Henkels knives are slightly harder they will hold the edge for longer. Zwilling Professional S knives are measured as being harder than Victorinox knives, measuring 57 and 56 on the Rockwell scale respectively. 
That means that whilst they use the same base steel and are factory sharpened to a similar angle, Zwilling J.A. Henkel's knives will be able to hold their edge for longer. In reality, that means you'll need to sharpen a Victorinox knife more often than you would a Zwilling J.A. Henkel's if you want to keep the edge as sharp as possible. There isn't a huge amount to choose between the two when measuring sharpness, but overall Zwilling J.A. Henkel's wins in this comparison. Zwilling J.A. Henkel's vs. Victorinox, what are the handles made from? The material used for handles is a vital and often overlooked feature of any knife. A quality handle is often the sign of a quality overall knife. Handles need to be made from a durable material that can withstand all the heat and moisture fluctuations knives can experience in the kitchen. Once again, we'll focus on the two main ranges from each brand, the Zwilling Professional S and Victorinox Fibrox Pro. Both Zwilling Professional S and Victorinox Fibrox Pro use different types of thermoplastic material for their knife handles. Zwilling J.A. Henkels uses POM and Victorinox uses the more flexible TPE. It is worth mentioning that whilst Victorinox's most popular range uses TPE, they also have a knife that uses a very attractive rosewood timber, which is actually my personal Victorinox recommendation. But as the TPE knives are by far Victorinox's most popular, I'm focusing on that. Thermoplastic materials like these are ideal for knife handles due to their extreme durability. POM is specifically designed for high stiffness and stability, and being a thermoplastic means it's also extremely resistant to temperature and moisture changes. It's a fantastic material to use for knife handles that will undergo all sorts of pressures and it makes sense to use this material for your main range, which is usually your more practical range. TPE has many similarities in regard to it being durable, but it has more flex in it than POM. As a result, the TPE handle Victorinox use isn't quite as tough as the Zwilling J.A. Henkels, but it does offer a good amount of grip. Zwilling J.A. Henkels vs. Victorinox, how much do they cost? Both these brands have a range of knives all at differing price ranges. To allow for a fairer comparison I've categorized three of their major ranges that represent their highest and lowest cost knives. I've tried to compare similar knives, sticking to 8-inch chef's knives or the closest equivalent they have in the range. In brackets next to the general price range you'll see the name of the range. These knives are still often $20 less than the Zwilling J.A. Henkel's value range, twin signature, even though both brands use the same stamped steel for these lower price knives. In summary, I'd say Victorinox offers great value for money at the lower end of the price scale, and they are very close competitors for the best chef's knife under $100.